While New York is often paving the way in terms of technology and its relationship with the government, we also have a lot to learn from other leading cities and states. Hosted by Tom Allen, publisher of City and State, and Julie Samuels, president and executive director of Tech NYC, How Did They Do It? Tech in the Cities is the bi-weekly podcast addressing the groundbreakers in technology and government who have had innovative ideas that have passed into laws or revolutionary concepts that might not work in certain states but could be applied in others. What is the purpose of How Did They Do It? Tech in the Cities? What do you hope listeners come away with? To make sure that um, the ecosystem that, that thrives on tech and the, and that, uh, and the government, uh, people that are really coming up to speed as much as possible on such a fast-growing industry, know what's going on and what's going on, not just in New York, but what's going on in the country and around the world. That's right, and, and really kind of dig into some of the issues. like As, as the technology itself is rapidly evolving, as the sector is rapidly growing, as it's changing our economy, what does that mean for New York? Right. What does it mean politically? What does it mean culturally? Right. What does it mean socially? Exactly. Like, what are the hard questions and, and how do we get it right? What topics can listeners expect you to cover on the show? I'm trying to dig in on some people's fears about, you know, could artificial intelligence become a problem? You know, how do we solve the data and privacy issue that you know parents are concerned about? Social media, you know, things that people are concerned about. You know, these are all solvable problems, but we need to inform the leadership of this country how to do that. And so we hope that we can bring in the smartest minds here, academics, you know, people who work in, in tech, people who work in other industries to suggest ways that we can solve some of these issues. And what I'm so excited about is exploring not just necessarily, there are legislative solutions, there are regulatory solutions, there are things we can do as a community, Mm -hmm. there are kinds of ways to educate people. The answers are are all different. Right, that's right. There's so many different ways to talk about this stuff. But the biggest mistake would be to not talk about these issues. And why did Tom and Julie choose each other as co-hosts for Tech in the City? You know, Julie is the smartest person I know in technology. She she's not a partisan. She thinks about these issues, and she and she's really knowledgeable about these issues. And I think as a, as a mom and the mom of three young children, I think she brings a perspective that's going to be very important for you know policymakers and also other parents in the city who are concerned about um, some of these issues. You know what I'd say too. The second I met Tom, it was clear that he is like the consummate New Yorker. Like if there is someone who knows what is happening in New York, who knows everything that's happening now, everything that I feel like that's ever happened in New York. And and to me, these conversations that we're going to have, like this is all about tech in New York. Exactly. And that, exactly. and it's, it's, we're going to do it our own way in New York. And there's no one I'd ever want to have. I mean, I love to talk about that with Tom. Yeah. You know, yeah. one of the things I'm excited about the podcast is I think that you and I can bring people together here into this studio and we can have some of these hard questions exactly. and we can agree to disagree and we can try and find exactly. uh, places where where we can work together to push some of these solutions forward and like right. that's kind of the new york way exactly I mean, i'm excited to bring in people of different opinions i mean you know we're you know media unfortunately these days are, is like an echo chamber you know it's a, you're either watching people on the left or on the right but you don't see enough good media that puts people in debates that's right and, and really smart debates talking about smart issues because what we can't do is we can't put our heads in the sand. We can't pretend that the technology is not coming, that the economy is not going to be changed. Like that, that cat is out of the bag. Exactly. To mix some metaphors there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The, the horse is out of the barn. The, the, the disruption is already happening, and people, you know, it's affected a lot of people, and it's going to affect a lot more people as AI becomes more prevalent. Right. And I think, again, government has to get ahead of this as opposed to chase it.